I uh, welcome. Got a Discogs Marketplace mail opening to do with you today. There's two records in here from a UK seller. And originally this was just going to be an order for one record. It's one that I initially ordered from a seller in Sweden. That never turned up. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, I will have got a refund on that. But then I found it for a cheaper price as well, which is not surprising given I had to pay international postage the first time, but a cheaper price from this seller here in the UK. And I was just going to get the one album, but when you add stuff to your cart on Discogs, a lot of the time you'll get a recommendation on the page listing other items that the same seller has got that you might be interested in based on your previous purchase history and what you've added to your Discogs database. I keep my Discogs collection list up to date regularly, almost to a point of being anal, who were. And um, one thing came up, and it was a really good price. I'll talk about the price in a little bit. And it said no extra postage to pay either, so I decided to have a punt on it. I'll show you that last, I think, so let's get this open. So this total order, two LPs, I think they both brand new and sealed. One definitely is, I think it was around £23, £24 including postage and unsurprisingly given it was a uk transaction it's not taken an awful long time to come what will probably take me ages is getting this mailer open i've made a slit so that's the start oh here we are yeah i've just managed to slide them out easily enough close the knife up because we say safety first around these parks so the first album I'll show you, I'm so happy that I've finally got this because it pretty much completes a collection, a very small collection, but for a band who I really got into many years ago, but I only started collecting on vinyl this year. And I'm talking about the second studio album from Glas Vegas with a very abstract cover here. This is their second studio album, Euphoric Slash Heartbreak. There's about three or five slashes in it. I'll call it euphoric heartbreak. I don't know if that's exactly the right way to say it. So the Glas Vegas collection is now complete. This was a really good price. I think around 12 or 13 pound minus postage from this seller. And as you can see, it is new and sealed. I think the copy that I got from Sweden, not only was it already open, which didn't bother me, but the seller actually contacted me soon after I placed the order just to show me some photos of a little bit of a slit in the, um, I don't know if it was the outer sleeve or the inner, I can't remember, and I said it doesn't matter, it's still sending it me, but um, God knows where that is. But yeah, I've got the album now, so Glass Vegas, they've only released four albums, and I've got all four of them now. I've never heard anything on here can't really see to read any of those either. Technically, it's not a complete collection because they released their Christmas EP or mini album, A Snowflake Fell, and it felt like a kiss about a year after their debut album, the self-titled Glass Vegas. That's never come out on vinyl, so maybe I'll try and get that on compact disc. It'd be nice if they released it on vinyl, and I could see them doing that eventually, just as like a little maybe record store day Black Friday thing or something for a nice little pre-Christmas sort of limited edition. Mainly getting the full studio albums was what I wanted to do. Uh, I think this is a 2LP set. I also believe this is a gatefold sleeve. Looks like it to me anyway. I'm not going to get it open. It's just black vinyl. The second thing, even though that was very impulsive, just at the price it was, I couldn't resist. But yeah, this was the main thing really. Glas Vegas, brilliant band, euphoric heartbreak. I've loved all three of their other albums that I've got. I think they're all absolutely amazing. I, I highly recommend that if you've got any interest in really melodic, heartfelt, sort of indie rock, that you check Las Vegas out. Certain bands in kind of the indie genre over the years, a lot of people have really been into, and that's fair enough, but I've never been that bothered about. You know, Radiohead, I've had a lot of friends and people I've spoke to who love them and I've never been bothered. Arctic Monkeys, I never saw the appeal with them. I thought they were well overhyped. But Glass Vegas, I don't know, just somehow kind of speak to me really. And uh, I just find their stuff like sort of goosebump type music for me. To finally complete the studio albums collection, I'm delighted. So that was Euphoric Heartbreak by Glass Vegas. Right, now for the impulsive purchase. 
this was a recommendation from Discogs, the same seller. I don't think he had an awful lot of stuff on his Discogs marketplace page. It was probably under 100, which sounds like a lot of items for sale. But if you go on Discogs, you'll see most sellers. They've got thousands and thousands of records, CDs, etc. for sale. But this came up and it was priced at $7.99 for a brand new record. And it would have been recommended to me because of stuff that I've got in my collection anyway. And I'm talking about this album from Morrissey. This is low in high school. I've never heard it, but I thought $7.99. It said it was new and sealed, which it is. As you can see from the hype sticker, it is a clear vinyl record, which we'll take a look at, even though you'll have seen a lot of them on this channel recently. I just thought, you know what? I'll take a punt on it. I'll take a punt on almost anything that's new for well under £10. And no extra postage to pay because I was buying Glass Vegas from this seller anyway. I can't really speak an awful lot on this album. I think the date it was out, when I looked the other day, maybe 2017-ish, something like that. I think he's released at least one, possibly two more albums since this one. The reviews of this, from what I could see, were mixed, but I don't really go by reviews. I like to make my own decisions upon listening to things. My first Morrissey solo album, it's not a collection I'm intending to build upon. However, The Smiths, and I think that would have been the reason why this was recommended to me, but The Smiths, I've only got one compilation album. I think it's um, Louder Than Bombs, have I got? I'm doubting myself now. I did show it on the channel, like, I don't know, two years ago or whenever it was I bought it. I would like to get more Smith's albums at some point, as there's not an awful lot. There's probably more compilations than there is studio albums now, but it's not a collection that I'm itching to complete like I was Glass Vegas, for example. And obviously I've been working a lot on my Rammstein, Lieback and Weezer collections. I would like to, well, Rammstein, it's kind of complete, but not and Weezer and Lieback, there's just some albums there that I've got to wait for a reissue if they'll ever come, or buy them on CD. Anyway, low in high school, you axe the monarchy there, someone's holding up a sign. Yes, I can't argue with that sentiment. Sorry, royalists and monarchists, but um, I've always been a Republican, and that's Republican in the British sense, not in the American supporting Donald Trump or some other twit <laughs> sense. Um, on the back, someone's got to sign my parents are a handful. Okay. Right then, I did promise that we'd have a look at the disc, even though you know what it's going to look like. It opened nice and easy with the old tweezers. This is just a one disc LP. Morrissey... <sighs> I do like a lot of his early solo stuff, to be honest. Oop, I think that's just a download card that's fallen down. I'll pick that up after I've finished. Nice inner there. I do like um, certainly his early stuff, not long after he left the Smiths, you know, things like Suede Head, Every Day's Like Sunday. I remember hearing a lot of his singles up to sort of the mid to late 90s. I think he really now is more notorious for just having really rotten opinions about things. Yeah, he's big into animal rights, but he's very kind of, um, what's the term? uncompromising about it and he banned venues that he was gigging at from selling meat and things like that and you know I think he's even criticised his own fans when he's caught them not being a vegetarian and then he's got weird views about things like the British National Party and UKIP as well I mean I'm not going to bang on about them but you I think anyone who watches this will have an inkling of my own political leanings and uh, although I do agree with Morrissey about his anti-monarchist stance uh, there's not much else I do agree with him on I find him uh, quite insufferable really but uh, he makes good music whether this album's very good or not i have no idea but it looks nice and i thought for eight quid might as well take a punt i like this inner sleeve actually because it's like a proper printed one with a photo on that side but it's got the cutout on that side so that you can see the center label of the disc i do like that actually i don't know why more record companies don't do that as i think it's a nice little touch that maybe it's just a bit of a hassle to do this cutout on a high quality inner too often i don't know but there we are that was low in high school by mr stephen morrissey interesting stuff that i no idea maybe i think it's a great album if it's anything like morris's early work his work in the smiths and then his sort of late 80s into the 90s solo stuff 
I'll certainly enjoy it. I get the feeling from the reviews I've seen, possibly not, but um, the proof of the pudding, etc. Happy to get that for $7.99. I think that's a bargain, really, just based on how it looks and the fact that it was new. And, of course, we started out with Euphoric Heartbreak by the amazing Glas Vegas. So thank you for watching this look and a couple of purchases both very good value particularly Morrissey even though that was one that I had no idea even existed and wasn't looking for but I thought I'll have a bit of a punt and I want to say special thanks to all of you my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons my patron link my facebook group link and a link for urban jungle contents insurance are all down in the description text box I'm gonna go now and I'll ask it I always ask it Try and answer in the comments if you can be asked. Which shall I listen to first? I've opened Morrissey, so he might get listened to first anyway. But I've loved Glass Vegas so much this year. And I just want to see if this album is as high quality as the other three studio albums of theirs. I've got a feeling it will be. Because they're just bloody brilliant. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next record collecting video. Cheers everyone. See ya!